God bless you out there, YouTube land, your prayer warrior in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. God bless you all. New prophecy today. Prophecy on the Israel. This is the prophetic word of the Lord thy God, the God of Israel. Over 4,000 years ago, the Abraham blessing, where the God of Israel gave to Abraham, he says, you'll be a father of many nations. He said, look up in the sky, as many stars in the sky, how many sand on the seashore. You'll be a father of many nations, many blessings. And bless the ones that bless you, and curse the ones that curse you. And uh, the Abraham blessing can't be defi de divided. That's God's holy uh, uh, land, holy uh, nation, the state of Israel. And uh, nobody lay hand on Israel, that's the apple of God's eyes. Jesus, Savior, Messiah, that's his holy ground. Jerusalem won't be touched. The God of Israel defend it. The battle of the Lord, victory in Jesus. God of Israel defend the state of Israel. Nobody can come against it. If they try to come against it, God of Israel will fight for Israel. And Ezekiel 38, 39, when Russia and the Middle Eastern countries try to attack it, and we're right on the brink of of the threshold of the Bible prophecy being fulfilled, that they will bury the dead in Israel seven months and seven years they will burn the weapons of the enemies of Israel. Israel military don't have to worry about the God of Israel will take care of it. It will never be uh, overthrown no more. It will never be destroyed no more. No more Nebuchadnezzar's. It's God's holy ground. It's beautiful land, Canaan land, land of milk and honey. This is a prophecy for Israel. God will fight for you. Jerusalem's a trembling cup. Jerusalem is the Lord. The city of David for 3,000 years has been the capital, eternal capital of the God of Israel. And uh, I got the word of God to back this up. And the archangel St. Michael here, we're going to line this in with today, what's happening for God's glory in Israel. There's a prophecy for Israel. We're in... Uh, Daniel chapter 12. And at that time shall Michael stand up, that is, Michael the archangel, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, that's going to be Jacob's trouble, Israel's trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And I feel God's anointing his praise right now. Lord, let thy mantle fall double portion on your people out there. I feel the power of God, your praise is God, Israel. Jesus, the Savior, Messiah, the Holy Ghost, and far. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood another two, the one on this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And the one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, which he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times, and a half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the part of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made wide and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, an abomination that makes desolation, Set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and 
five and thirty days. But go thy, but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. And may God has holy uh, blessings upon His word. United States of America, I'm talking to you, President Obama. You're the Antichrist. You need to read in Genesis chapter 12, the Abraham blessing. God of Israel, bless the ones that bless Israel and turn and curse the ones that curse Israel. We ever turn our back on Israel, we're really going to be in a judgment. And I believe some of the judgment calls happening now that the Obama's nation of desolation. Oh God, have mercy on the United States of America. Have mercy on your people, Lord Jesus. We know the time is short. You're returning soon. This is the time. It won't be long before Ezekiel 38, 39 will be fulfilled. We're seeing it happen. And Israel will not lose the battle because the God of Israel will fight for Israel and the battle of the Lord and victory in Jesus. For God's glory, we'll see this real soon. Not much time left. I believe this attack could happen before November 2012 here. And uh, Christians, pray and fast for Israel. Pray that we will stand. The majority of Congress will stand with Israel. There are lawmakers. If we turn our back on Israel, we are done for. We are destroyed as the United States of America. God birthed this nation in 1776 for his glory. And Lord Jesus, I thank you for this prophetic word on your prophecy on Israel. And it's your Zion. It's your holy city. It's Beulah land. It's Canaan land. It's land of milk and honey. It's your holy ground. Take our shoes off. We stand on the holy ground. We're having a burning bush experience like Moses when he saw you up there on Mount Sinai, Lord. And this is the time. If you don't know Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, I pray today, Lord, Send me some Orthodox Jews that's not accept you as the Messiah. Jesus, you already come once. You're the Messiah. Lord, send me a Gentile. Send me the people out there, the sinners. Send me the pagans. Send me the Hindus and the Buddhists and the Muslims. Send me uh, the atheists, Lord. Send me God, the secular humanism, the agnostics, all the people that don't know you as a personal Savior. This is your time to accept Jesus Christ. This is not coincidental, accidental. You've seen this video. you flipped this channel for God's glory. This is God's video. I thank you to putting it on. The God of Israel and Jesus, the Savior and Messiah, anointed this, consecrated, dedicated, sanctified. I pray your uh, salvation, your amazing grace comes right down. Get your hook in your jaw right this moment. This is your time of destiny. This is your new beginnings. You've been running from the Lord too many years. This is your time. Time's about no more. Time's about run out. There's no time left for you but to accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior. Say this prayer with me. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, saving my sight of right. My name in the land book of life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer today. Right. George and Betty Kelly on YouTube channel. We want to get a praise report, a public confession. Email us. It's on our uh, YouTube uh, profile page. And George and Betty Kelly on YouTube. And we love you today. Just keep your eyes on Jesus Israel. You don't have to worry that the Lord neither slumbers or sleep. He's protecting Israel 24-7. Israel will not be defeated because the God of Israel will protect it. There are no enemies in the world. No nuclear attack. No war. Nothing can attack Israel because the God of Israel is going to fight for his holy ground, for his nation. And he, Israel is God's holy ground. Take your shoes off. United States of America, pray and fast. Stand on Israel's side. This is very important for God's glory. Me and Betty, love you here. At least the brother ministry, Pena Bell, and be praying for me, Betty. We'll be praying for you. But most important, that God of Israel loves you and Jesus, the Savior and Messiah of the world, loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting Israel. They'll never be defeated and never be conquered no more. You'll protect the borders from the north, south, east, and west. You will protect Jerusalem. That's your holy city. Thank you, Jesus. The city of David.